These exercises should be safe for most people to follow. However, if you have any concerns about your health or receiving medication or medical treatment of any kind, then always consult with your doctor first. Please remember that you can rest at any time and come back when you feel ready again. By watching and following these exercises, you expressly assume and accept any and all risks of injury or death. Lie down on your back with your feet on the mat, as wide as your mat and the knees can rest together. Let's bring both hands onto the stomach. Breathe deeply in and notice how the stomach rises and breathe completely out and notice how it falls down. You can create an ocean sound with your breath, with your facial muscles relaxed and the shoulders relaxed. Gently release your hands and spread your arms out to the sides. Bring your feet closer together and lower both knees over to one side. Then bring your legs back to the center and over to the other side.
Then bring your legs back to the center and bring your hands over your knees. Make an inward circular motion in both hip joints in a mirror image. And then also change direction, outwards hip circles. And then hold on to any leg and roll yourself up to sitting. And you can extend your legs to the front, your hands next to you and the spine elongated. Let's point and flex both feet. And then also circle them inwards. And circle outwards. Now let's release that and bring your legs around and move onto your hands and your knees with your hands shoulder distance and your knees and feet hip distance apart. Let's bend backwards with the pose of the cow, holding it a moment, and then curve with the pose of the cat. Then release to neutral, taking your right leg out towards the right side and open both arms with in-breath. Exhale to bend towards the right in the pose of the gait, left arm over and then come back, arm sideways, then bring your right arm across and look towards the right, holding it with your left hand and open the arms. Pose of the gait again, sideways to the right. Inhale, come back. Exhale, right arm across, holding with the left hand, looking to the right and inhale. Exhale, gait. Inhale, exhale, posterior deltoid stretch, and inhale, another time, exhale with the gait, inhale, and exhale, bringing the arm across, and inhale, 
Exhale to release, bring the right knee back in and down, hands down, bending backwards with the cow pose. And then flex the spine with the pose of the cat, drawing the belly button inwards. Release to neutral and then take your left leg out to the left side, coming up with your upper body. And open your arms with the in-breath. Exhale, bend towards the left with your right arm over, Kate pose. Inhale and exhale, bring the left arm across, holding it with your right hand and look to the left. Inhale, open, exhale, gate. Inhale, coming up. And exhale, bringing the left arm across, looking left. Inhale. Exhale. In. Out. Another time, the pose of the gate. And posterior deltoid stretch. The stretch of the shoulders and the back of the arm or shoulder. Release and lower down. Bring in your hands down, ground them into the mat, curl the toes under Lift the sit bones up to downwards facing dog and bend one knee at a time. Then bend both knees and walk your hands back towards the feet. Roll yourself up all the way and raise your arms sideways and upwards to high mountain and then come back down to a forward bend. Gently walking your hands forwards and come back to four point kneeling. From there, open your right arm upwards, inhale and exhale, bring it under to the left. Inhale to lift and exhale to place your hand down. Inhale, lift arm up. Exhale, thread it under to the right. Inhale, lift and exhale, ground it on the mat. Inhale, right. Exhale, under. Inhale, open. Exhale, down on the mat, lift, under, raise, and ground, right, and down, and last time, lift. Exhale under, inhale up, and exhale ground. Curl the toes under, lift back and up to downwards facing dog. Bend the knees and walk your hands back towards the feet. Roll up and raise up to high mountain. Inhale and exhale to relax your arms. Let's clasp the hands behind the back and tilt your head laterally towards the right side. Come back to center and tilt your head towards the left.
and then bring your head back to center, release the hands and walk to the front of the mat. Feel grounded on both feet equally. Let's interlace the fingers and press forwards with your palms, curving the upper back, releasing all tension between the shoulders. Then open your arms and lift the right knee. Hold your right upper leg with your hands at the hamstrings and extend the right leg forwards, pressing your heel forward. And then release, taking the, that right leg backwards and both arms forwards. Support with your core muscles and elongate to the front and to the back. Coming up to high mountain and bend forwards. Let's step back with the right foot and bring the knee down. You can keep the toes curled. Raise up with your upper body and arms, holding the hands above, index fingers pointing up and optionally bend backwards with crescent moon pose. The weight of your body to the front foot. Then come back and release, bringing the right hand across to your left upper leg and reach back with your left arm. Return and place your hands down onto the floor. Lift that right knee and step forwards with your right foot. Rolling up through the spine. And then interlace the fingers, pressing forwards with your palms, looking down and curve the upper back. Come back and open your arms, open the shoulders, lifting the left knee. Then hold on to the left upper leg and extend the leg forwards with your left heel pressing to the front. Try and remain upright with your back. Then bend the leg and take the left leg backwards and both arms forwards. Remember to breathe. Raise up to high mountain and bend forwards. From there, stay back with your left foot and bring the knee down. Raising up with your arms and upper body, holding the hands, index fingers up. And if you can, bend backwards, with your hips moving downwards and forwards. Return and bring your left hand across to your right upper leg and open your right arm, twisting towards the right side. And then come back, lower down, lift the knee and step forwards and curl yourself up all the way to standing high mountain. Clasp the hands and curl forwards now. Rolling up and open your arms, lifting the right knee and lengthen the leg back, warrior three. High mountain, forward bend. Stepping back with the right foot, bring the knee down. Raising up and circle your arms backwards and around. Inhale and exhale. Ah. 
and then bring your right hand to the left knee, open the left arm and come back, inhale, open, exhale, forwards, in, out, and then one more time, open, and come back and bring your hands down. Lift that right knee and step forward to the right foot and curl up through the spine. Raising your arms upwards, clasping your hands and curve forwards, bringing the hands down. Rolling up and open your arms, lifting the left knee. Take the left leg back, arms forwards, warrior three. High mountain. Forward bend, stepping the left foot back, left knee down, raising your arms, circle it up and back and around through an optional back bend. And one more time, up and back and around and bring the left hand to the right knee, open the right arm and come back open, return, one more time, and return, and bring your hands down, lifting the left knee, and step forwards with your left foot, and roll up through the spine, raising your arms up, and relax, bring them down. Now, let's raise the arms up, bending back from high mountain, and then bend forwards. Reach forwards and up with your arms to powerful chair, and then lift the right knee. Step that leg back to high lunge, and then place your hands down. Step the left foot back to high plank, and lower to low plank, then upwards facing dog. Downwards facing dog. Raise your right leg upwards and step forwards with that right foot. Open the right arm, twist to the right and lower the hand down. Reach sideways, balance with aeroplane, left leg back and then come back on both feet. High mountain with the back bend, forward bend. Powerful chair, arms forwards and up. Left knee lift, arms reaching back, stay back left foot, high lunge, both hands down, right foot back, high plank, low plank, upwards facing dog, downwards facing dog, raise the left leg upwards and step forwards with your left foot, raise the left arm, and lower the hand down. Aeroplane pose, balance on that left leg, right leg back, and mountain pose. High mountain back bend, inhale, exhale forward bend. Inhale, powerful chair, exhale right knee. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, hands to the mat. Inhale, high plank, and with the exhalation, low plank. Inhale, upwards facing dog. Exhale, downwards facing dog. Inhale, right leg upwards, and exhale to step forwards with that right foot. Inhale, right arm up. Exhale to lower down. Inhale, aeroplane pose, and exhale, mountain. Inhale, raise up, exhale down, inhale chair, exhale lift knee, step back, high lunge, both, both hands down, high plank, low plank, up dog, downwards facing dog. Three leg dog, left leg up, step forward, inhale, left arm, exhale down, 
Inhale, aeroplane. Exhale, mountain. High mountain, back bend. Forward bend. Powerful chair. Right knee. High lunge. Lower the hands. High plank. Low plank. Up dog. Down dog. Right leg up. Step forwards. Open the right arm. And lower. Aeroplane. Mountain. One last time, bending backwards. Forwards. Chair. Lift knee. High lunge. Both hands down. High plank. Low plank. Up dog. Down dog. Lift leg up. And step forwards. Lift arm up. And lower down. Aeroplane pose. And mountain pose. Now catch your breath. Connect with your breath. Relax your shoulders and your facial muscles. Now find your balance on the left leg and bend the right leg, holding the foot or the leg. Bring your left arm forwards and bring the right leg backwards to the pose of the dancer. Return, release that leg and cross that right leg over the left leg. If you can, bend the standing leg and maybe hook the right foot behind the left calf. Bring your left arm over your right arm and twist your arms with the pose of the eagle. Raising up through the fingers, moving forwards in your elbows and down in the shoulders. Then release your arms and release the legs. Now balance on your right leg and bend the left leg, holding the foot or a leg. Bring your right arm forwards and the left leg backwards. Stay connected with your breath. And then come back from dancer's pose and cross that left leg over the right. If you can, you bend the right leg, hook the foot behind the calf. Cross the right arm over the left arm and twist your arms. Try to remain lengthened in the back. Then release your arms and release the legs. Now again, find your balance on the left leg and this time take your right leg out towards the side with the pose of the star 
also reaching sideways with both arms. Then return from the star and hold on to your right foot with your left hand or place the foot to your leg if you need upper or lower leg. And then bring your right arm behind your back and maybe hold on to your left arm from behind. And then release that arm and softly release the foot. And now balance on your right leg. And take your left leg out towards the left side and reach also sideways with your arms. Drawing the shoulder blades together and down. Feel that you shine out to all directions through your arms leg and the crown of your head. Then come back and hold on to the left foot with your right hand or choose the easier option if you need. Wrap your left arm behind the back and hold on to the right arm. And then release your arm and release the foot. You're back on both feet. Now in a controlled way, if you can, move gently through a squat or slowly in a controlled way to the mat. Sitting down and then engage the abdominal muscles and curl down to the mat onto the back. Let's press the lower back towards the mat and then raise both legs up to the ceiling, pressing through your heel upwards, both heels up. Now slowly lower one leg away from you Keeping the core muscles engaged, contract the stomach muscles and then raise that leg up again. Then switch to the other leg, lower and lift the leg back up. Another time with the first leg down. Make sure the lower back is not arching and return and then the other leg away, pressing the heel away and come back up. Now curl up with your head and shoulders reaching forwards with your hands. Then bend the knees and bring your hands behind the head. Extend one leg and twist towards the bent leg. Breathe. And then switch sides. And then come back to the center. 
and relax softly bring your head down and also one foot and the other Then hold on to any leg and roll yourself up to sitting. Let's find our balance on the sit bones and then raise one foot and the other away from the floor, reaching your arms forwards if you can with the pose of the boat. And then place your feet down and fold your legs towards the left side. Relax around the hip joints. Turn with your upper body towards the right. And then turn your head back towards the left side. Then look forwards and turn forwards. You can hold onto your left foot, lift it just slightly if you need, or a bit higher, or hook the foot into your left elbow. If you can, link your hands behind your head. And then release that, softly release the leg and bring that left leg to the back. And come down to the forward pigeon pose, bending over your right leg. And then lift up from the forward pigeon to the pigeon. You can have flat hands or rest or bring your fingertips down or make fists with your hands. Open the shoulders, slide them backwards and downwards. And then ground your hands into the mat, curl the toes of the back foot and then take the right leg back and upwards and walk your hands back to standing split. If you can, hold on to your left leg with your left hand, raising high up with that right leg. And then release and walk the hands back forwards, bringing that right knee forwards, fold it in the front and sit down to the right side and bring your left leg out to the left side in the half open cobbler's pose. Turn towards the right with your upper body and reach for your left leg or foot with the left hand and bring the right arm up and over in a side bend in half open cobbler's pose. And then come back up and lower your arm 
and also extend the right leg. Open cobbler's pose. Make sure you sit on top of the sit bones. Let the hands help you to hinge forwards and then take your hands onto the legs as far as you can. And then come back up and help your legs closer together back to the pose of the boat. Release your legs if you can and continue to breathe. Lower the feet down and then fold your legs towards the right. Lengthen the back and then turn towards the left with your upper body and turn your head to the right. And then look forwards and turn forwards, holding that right foot with your right hand. Lift it a little bit if you need, or higher, or bring it into your right elbow. And if you want to go further, link your hands behind your head. Release that gently, bring the leg down and then take your right leg backwards and bend forwards in forward pigeon. And then raise up with your upper body to the pigeon. And then curl the toes in the back foot, ground your hands, lift that right knee from the floor and take the left leg back and up to standing split, walking your hands back towards the foot and maybe hold on to your right lower leg with your right hand. And then release, walking the hands back forwards, bringing that left knee forwards and sit down to the left side, 
and bring the right leg out to the right side with half open cobbler's pose. Turn with your upper body towards the left. Reach for your right leg or foot with the right hand and bring the left arm up and over. Open that top shoulder. And then come back up, release your arm and then also extend the left leg. Open cobbler's pose. Hinge forwards with your upper body and then bring your hands onto the legs or feet. Gently come up and help your legs up and closer together and place your feet on the mat, hip distance apart and your hands behind you. Roll the shoulders back and down, keeping them away from your ears and lift, small lift or higher with your sit bones to the table pose, raising the right leg forwards or up. And then bend the leg and place the foot down. Lower the sit bones down and hold the legs a moment. Then come back, bringing the hands behind you, shoulders back. Lift the sit bones away from the mat to the pose of the table. Then bring your left leg forwards or upwards. And then bend the knee and place the foot down and lower the sit bones down. Hug your legs in. Now let's cross the legs with the right leg in front. Then bring your arms behind your back, holding onto your elbows with your hands or clasp your hands if you need. And then bend forward. So remember which way you had your arms here, so that you can do it the other way around the second time. Let's come back up, releasing the arms, and then cross your legs the other way around. Holding the arms behind the other way if you can and bend forwards. Gently come back up and release your arms and place your feet onto the mat. 
and curl down onto the back. Let's take the arms out to the sides and lower your knees over to one side as you did in the warm up. Relax your legs completely. Allow the top leg to shift if it wants. Then bring your legs back to center and over to the other side. Then return to the center and move the knees away from each other, bringing the soles of the feet together. You can support your legs with your hands if you need, with supine cobbler's pose. Or you can just let your arms rest by your sides, or if you like, you can bring your hands behind your head. Gently slide your arms along the floor all the way above your head. Angel arms. And very gently slide them back down. And another time, slide your arm sideways and upwards. And slide softly down. And then help your legs together. And get yourself ready to relax now with bent or extended legs. Bring your chin in to lengthen the neck. Slide your shoulders down away from your ears. And allow the right and left side of the body to be equally relaxed. You are completely supported on the floor from your head to your feet.
Now begin to deepen your breath. Breathe slowly and fully. And then touch your fingertips with your thumbs. And curl the fingers in and spray the fingers open. Follow the same motion with your toes and your feet. And for a couple of times, turn your head side to side. Then bend one leg and the other, placing the feet on the mat. And give your upper body a hug with your arms. Keep your arms away from your throat. Then you can wrap your arms also the other way around. And then release and hug your legs in towards yourself. Roll yourself over onto the side and pause a moment there. And then lift up from the mat, sitting with the easy crossed leg pose. Scoop forwards and up with your hands and breathe in to lift it up. Breathe out to open your arms and lower down. Inhale and keep elongating through the back. Exhale to lower. One more deep breath. And exhale. Thank you.